This is the Bill Squire Show. Let me turn this. Tommy has been falling off chairs. Wow. Oh, I saw did you, you fall. I saw you. No, yeah, I saw the bruise. Uh-huh. She fell off the chair in the studio the last time you were here. <laughs> the one with arms. Did yes, you did. How did I fall? <laughs> we when have did... it. On, we have it on video. When did I fall? You were like, whoa! Oh, and then we were oh, like, what oh, happened? I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Was that Sorry. Tommy or was that Ricky? I no, you that meant... was Tommy. We can mix them up. I thought you meant. Yeah. <laughs> I know they look so alike. They're so alike. They, they both got a bunch of tattoos, and everybody yeah. wants to fuck them. So it's crazy. <laughs> oh, your trainer. Yeah. Yeah. Did you watch that episode, Tommy? No, I haven't. Oh, He's a splendidly looking man. Oh, this is a man. See, I didn't yeah, know. I a, had, this is my trainer. He's a very good looking guy. <laughs> Tommy was out a couple of weeks ago, and so we had him sit in because, uh, you know, a little eye con- candy. And there yeah. was somebody, one of the comments yeah. was like, hey, yeah. I'm glad the video portion, this dude's hot. Yeah. When, so. when we're in the same room, they call us the twins. Mm. <laughs> hmm. But I'm like a, in a more Arnold Schwarzenegger, Danny DeVito type yeah. way. Yeah, I'm well, b- because he's not the best looking dude. Yeah. In the world. Not everyone's blessed. And I'm <laughs> and uh, I'm uh, chiseled from granite. Yeah. As yeah, you my, should be. My rock hard physique. As yeah. one should. <laughs> yeah. Hey, welcome to this week's episode of the Bill Squire Show. I'm here with Tommy LC. Hello. And AJ DeCosimo. Hello. And we have a guest that I'm very excited about, Jeremiah from the Jeremiah Show on. Kiss 96.5. Uh, set the bar low. I'm very excited. That's two. <laughs> don't, don't set I'm it high. I'm allowed to be excited. <laughs> you can. I'm, I just I'm don't. I'm going to be excited. <laughs> I don't want to set any expectations I want to be high. excited. Okay. I right. want to be excited. Then, you know what? Be, be excited, excited then. Who am I who, to tell you who you. to be and this how to be? Are you me. so excited? I just can't hide it. Is this more exciting than peekaboo? No. Okay. I'm I'm a he, I'm adult, adult. He, likes, he likes adult peekaboo. Yeah, adult like adults, peekaboo. Well, adults mm-hmm. are playing peekaboo. Oh, no, it's other. not like a sexy thing. It's just no, adults it's just playing funny. peekaboo. Funny, because I I was explaining to them. It's just like you know you're 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 not there and then you are. Yeah. And then that's just like hilarious to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It's, <laughs> it's creepy to play. You want to play with him? Okay. Yeah. You wanna, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm down. Let's do it. Just do I have to do it? <laughs> Is it gonna? I'm like laughing. Like, oh, it's gonna make him laugh. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. Even if you know so what you're doing. Oh, he's like, well, he's, 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 he's like, he came out he of nowhere. <laughs> I saw him. I was looking at him. What are you talking about? I looked right at him and I saw his peekaboo. So, of all the baby things you've grown out of in your life, like lifting your head and rolling, the peekaboo one is still. <laughs> that, yeah, that one and sucking on my mom's tits. <laughs> the only two. But if we're going to talk about that, like, who doesn't suck on your mom's tits? I know. It's besides your dad. Sometimes I'll <laughs> suck on him and be like, oh, this tastes like Bill's spit. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, that's who that was that I was sucking on. Yeah. That, old, yeah so you probably. I just her. didn't know it was you your probably, mom. Yeah. That's, yeah. Old yeah. old Beth. Mm-hmm. Old Beth. Yeah. <laughs> Beth amphetamine. Still one of the best things was a couple weeks that's ago. A good name. He was talking about how he beat off in the back seat of his dad's car. Yeah. And his while dad, he was driving it. Yeah. yeah while he was driving it, and his dad listens to the show when he comments on the YouTube channel and is like. You did what in the back of my car? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the first time. Aww, that yeah. was the first time. The no, the, no, first, the first time, time you did I, that. I openly said it oh. aloud, and that was the first and only time I did it in the back of his car while he was driving it. Yeah, and you said you were around eleven or twelve at the time. Yeah, something like yeah. that. What, yeah. What turned guy. you on? He was eleven or twelve. You don't know the The open road, baby. The open road. (laughs) Yeah, adventure. The sense of adventure. A fly on your toe at eleven or twelve will make anything go. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. All right. So anyway, Jeremiah is here. Uh, Let's start off with just getting one swear out of the way. Sure. Can you do it? I know you are. uh, You work on Kiss, and you know our boss is like, "Don't swear in these studios." Yeah. Because you never know. Yeah. But when we're doing this podcast. It's a little different. Oh, you want me to say a fuck word? Yeah, there you go. Okay. That's, ah. that's one of them. That's, 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 okay. that's, okay. ah. You said a fuck word. Uh, he said it. Uh, uh, but we've been doing, uh, I don't know. I'm guys, extremely nervous that went over some airwaves right now. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it did. We well, are why? actually live yeah. uh, but why on he TAM, want so the angriest the people will hear. Yeah. yeah. We're on, we're actually on the fish right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 99.5, is that what it is? 95.5. Uh, 95.5. I don't know. I don't, I'm. I barely know the stations that are in this, cr- <laughs> in this building, so like I, I don't know mm. the fish. 
Um, it's not ours. It's no, a different yeah, company. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. great reference, though. Yeah. Now, I don't, I don't <laughs> want to poo-poo on the reference. Solid reference. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate, I appreciate it. the reference. I do know that it exists. I just don't know what their number is. Oh, and I keep forgetting. I'm supposed to. You might know this. Mm-hmm. My girlfriend asked me the other day. She goes, how do they come up with the call letters for a radio station? Do you know this? You can just you just that? submit up for it, I think. You just, but, like, why are they all, like, WMMS or K- Some of them have reasons. Yeah. Like, AKS, I think, is just the best way they could get to KISS. To KISS, yeah. Okay. Because the, the I don't know if it's the original, but the KISS in L.A. is K-I-I-S, so they're call letters. Yeah. So I think they just try to connect him in oh, some yeah. way. I don't know why WMMS is WMMS. I don't either. I should probably figure that out. Here's a question along the same lines, if I may. How come on the on the West Coast it's K and on the West Coast it's or the East Coast it's W? Because those are the rules. Oh, really? That's just I like, have no oh, idea. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's all I got. I think there is one K station on. It's the Mississippi is the dividing oh, line. Oh, okay. And like. There is one station east of the Mississippi that is a K. I think it's like oh. one of the OG stations. I'm not. I'm sounding like a giant radio nerd. I'm really not. <laughs> no, I, like, I mean you are compared to the rest of us. I know, you're, 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 you're fucking dork. Over here. <laughs> hey, let's all beat them up after yeah. the show. Yeah. I'm gonna go home and suck on your mom's. Boobs. Yeah, yeah. We'll all go. Come home. on, come wait, wait, wait. Try that again. You're gonna go home and suck on her tits. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Sorry. My hey. apologies. Just to get used. Sorry. Okay. Get now tomorrow is gonna be com- very different when you get into work and you're like you got to deprogram all this. Yeah. <laughs> so like, if I get fired, you're, you're just like, gonna Chris, pay I'm me. Sucking on my friend's tits. <laughs> <laughs> or my mom's my hey. friend's mom's tits. I actually just met him. I don't really know him, but here's yeah. Doja Cat. <laughs> <laughs> How long you been in radio? Uh, so I've been in it t- t- ten years. Okay. I started back in 2012 after I moved home from California. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, when I, I went to college at Akron, and then after that, I moved to California uh, to try to be a big, you know, TV movie star, whatever. Uh, and I interned on like F- Craig Ferguson's show. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's fine. And then I was, uh, you know, you, you guys know what an NBC page is? Yeah. Yes. You get, you're yeah. like, you're yeah, like yeah, Kenneth. Like Kenneth. You're like Kenneth yeah. from Dirty yeah. Rock. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cool. So they had those in LA, and I did that. I worked on a few shows, mm-hmm. and then I was like, wow, this sucks. Like working, I was working in reality TV, which I didn't like. So I got a job at a bar uh, and took uh, improv and sketch classes at Upright Citizens Brigade and kind of oh, lived okay. that life until my wife and I were finally like, you know what? We're ready to start a family, mm-hmm. and we want to be close to family. So I moved home. And, and got it, into radio. A yeah. very stable <laughs> very stable <laughs> for raising a family. Exactly. So that makes a lot of sense. Well, it really came down to I wanted to be – in front of the camera, so to speak, talent or whatever, and it was this or news, and God knows I would get fired immediately from news. Yeah. It's just too depressing. It is depressing, and it's also one of those things where it's just, it doesn't seem that fun. No, not at all. It does not seem very fun at all, at least, like, with what you're doing, especially on KISS. Like, you're doing a lot of fun stuff over there. You're having a good time, and you guys are building up to have more of a an afternoon talk show yeah. to rival us, which I hate. Uh, <laughs> Different demographic. I'm going for the chicks. You're going for the dudes. That's how I look at it. We're going for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we want every fucking person listening. Wait a uh, second. You're saying there's going to be chicks and dudes? They're, they're at one point in radio could be chicks and dudes listening to the same station yeah, at the same happens. time. It happens. It doesn't it's happen. Nearly yeah. unheard of. Yeah. But uh Well, they've yeah. they've stopped when a female buys a car, they stopped oh. deprogramming all the male radio stations oh. out. Mm-hmm. You know, that's new as opposed, you know, that since cars were invented, so yeah. mm. That's cool. You don't have to have uh, your husband uh, co-sign <laughs> to do your presets anymore. <laughs> so when you were on Craig, you were you were an intern on Craig Ferguson. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see the ro- Jeffrey the robot? That was before. That was before. So I was there in 06, which is really early in his run, and he was kind of still figuring right. stuff out. Uh, but yeah, it was. I mean, he was hilarious, and oh, he yeah. was uh, he was he was great, and the show was great, and everything. But yeah, I never. I never got to yeah, see you got the. I see the robot. I never the d- didn't see the robot. No. Uh, grandma loved. So, I, I whenever I refer to grandma, this is my friend's grandma that has basically become the grandma of every comedian in Northeast okay. Ohio, and she is basically my. She's not my family, but she's taken me in as yeah. an adopted grandchild. Basically, we have dinner once a week. I lived with her for a year and a half when I was in a really depressed uh, state. And so she's basically my closest family member. Okay. Uh, but she loves Craig Ferguson. Mm-hmm. I took her to see him when he was at the Agora a few years ago. 
And she was so mad that he didn't have the robot. <laughs> <laughs> the robot was great. Yeah, dude. she loved the robot. They did this bit one night. I don't even remember why it sticks with me, but I do it. I do it every now and then where they just keep telling each other, careful, Icarus. <laughs> he, <laughs> like, he had so many little silly. The, the Didn't he? I think it became a bit, but I was there the first time he did it. He comes up and slaps the side of the camera. Yeah, and yeah, like his yeah. mom. I think I was there like the first show. He like decided to do that. Oh, that's awesome! And then he did, and then I noticed like he would do that. You were there every for time. Part of comedy history. I guess so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess so. So then you 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 try your best out in L.A. Mm -hmm. The culture is so different out there. Yeah, it's, it's very me 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 me, and it's oh, yeah. it's. Like, as much as I think I am that person, when I'm around people in Los Angeles, I'm like, oh, man, I am, like, such a caring, <laughs> loving person and, right? like, learning people's names and, like, not looking for somebody else to talk to while I'm there talking. Like, it's it's really a, – a, you have to be a special type of person to just survive out there. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, I don't – so whenever people – are like oh, I came home and they're like oh were you a fan? Like no, it's just it's gross out there. Yeah, I was. It over feels it. really gross. I was. Um, I wanted yeah. to start a family. I was over. But the yeah. the ironic thing of the whole thing is after my wife and I decided, I think we decided in like a July of the year before we moved. Then I started really getting into the UCB community, which yeah. I mean Nick Kroll's come out of right. there. Jason which, Manzoukas, which is a much better community. And I found that community, yeah. and I found this group of people. Yeah. Who I absolutely loved, and I was that was the one thing like, oh, maybe I shouldn't, maybe yeah. I should stay. Because you can't find those, because yeah, it's not like every single person's gross mm -hmm. out there, but there are, it's harder to find that. And, yeah. And yeah. because they cherish those communities, they're a little protective. So what they're trying to protect is actually just the genuine people. Yeah. Because they, they don't want everyone. Well, and that in there. community yeah. was so nice and yeah. so it was such a creative community because I, I actually tried my hand at stand up. Mm -hmm. And I, I I was horrible at it. I did not like well, everybody's it. Everybody's bad at it at first. I didn't like the process. Oh really? I didn't like telling like having to work and what don't and... you like about the art that I cherish <laughs> no, so dearly? No, tell I... me tell me more about my shit art <laughs> that I've did, I dedicated like it. my entire life to. I don't like it for me. Okay. <laughs> because I I don't I I just it it didn't feel funny to me. Yeah. For the stuff I was doing. But once I discovered long form improv, which mm. there's, I don't know if you guys know, there's a there's a long form and a short form of improv. Mm. Short form is like whose line, right? Okay. right? Long form is like give me a word, and then I go on for twenty minutes about whatever, doing these scenes and whatnot. I discovered it's that it's very impressive seeing a long form show, and I think there's a a UCB with the original members where they do. A long yeah, the ass cat. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's, ask, it's, yeah, yeah. It's very it's cool. impressive, and it's it's a uh, now that that's something that I can't do. Yeah, like I because it's you, you have to go through a lot of first of all you have to work with other people, mm -hmm. which I <laughs> can do, uh, but stand up wise, being on stage, like I I really like just being the spotlight. Yeah, a lot. It's, it's so, and I respect yeah. the hell out of stand up yeah. that that you guys can do that. And like the the thing that I always found amazing, I I actually took a stand up class in college by this, this guy's name was Mike Veneman. Oh, I took the same class. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Okay. I took his class. Uh, it's not a college course, but yeah, it's he, he it's like a, a workshop, a workshop type thing. And I took his course uh, so I could get up at the funny stop. Yep. It was still called hilarities back then. But uh, he he taught me that, and then he helped me. He was like my mentor. Like, oh, he really? Helped, he helped me get a lot of gigs and and write, and just we we worked together uh, a lot on just helping me develop as a comedian in a business sense and uh, yeah. on stage. So well, yeah, Mike Veneman's fantastic. He was the best, and I yeah. got so I was the only one in his class that time, and I got to he was headlining the whole week at Hilarities or Funny Stop, funny whatever stop, it was yeah. at the time. And I watched him do the same jokes five days what year was in a this row. Year? This was probably oh four oh five. Okay, so this is around the time that I took the class. Yeah, oh, really? So it, was, it was still hilarities. Okay. Was it the old building? No, it was okay, the new so, building. So it was the new building. They right just when they burned moved. the old one down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, the old one had just burned down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not on purpose. Randomly. Yeah. Uh, but I watched him do... The same joke, and I'm. This is this is meaning to come across as a compliment. Yeah. The same jokes every day for five days, like it was the first time he was ever saying it in his life. Like it just came off the top of his head, and that blew my mind. Really, like to be able to do that, and like he would even because he was he was a self laugher, which is something I respect. 
as oh, a, that was like the one thing that I'm like, stop laughing at your own jokes, you piece of shit. <laughs> you <laughs> now, don't like yeah, that? Yeah, now I'm like, it's <laughs> like I, I every once in a while I'll go to his grave and I'll be like, I miss you so much, Mike. I love you so much, uh, but I do not miss that you laughed at your own jokes. And I I always <laughs> respected it because it encouraged the other people to laugh, which is well, that's and that's the cheat code. Though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that's like, <laughs> but let, it, let the joke stand on its own. Is yeah. how I feel. Like yeah, I, like every once in a while I'll be doing something. And I'll be riffing and going off the cuff, and I'll say something that makes me laugh, or just the crowd's reaction to it will be so aghast that it makes me laugh. Mm-hmm. But it's not, I, I don't like to laugh at my own jokes or, or like slap my knee or anything like that. Yeah. But, you know, that's just me. I, I, I the, the, what I liked about it is that he could do the same things over and over, and it sounded like it was the first time he was doing that. Yeah, and I, that was, that's a skill that I never. I never figured out how to do. It's uh, for someone. I don't know that that's part of the reason I love it because I I can go off the script and I can riff on material or the crowd or whatever. Mm-hmm. But knowing I have ideas to go back to, and that I know they're gonna work and they're going like I I can get the reaction that I want out of them is very comforting to me. Yeah, because I know that I I know how to deliver them. I know I can add this much. I know in certain situations to pull back a little bit or to push a little bit harder. It's, you know, it's very, it, it's been a fun thing to learn over the years of doing stand-up. Just listening to you describe it stresses me out because oh. it's so much thinking. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of thinking that goes into it. And when I would do an improv scene, there's not thinking. It's right, here's it's your just... word. Let's let's just go and see what happens. And that just, it it it's, it's I think, just a different flavors of our brain. Where your brain, your brain loves that thinking of the bit and what and redoing well, but, the bit, but, but but then the bit becomes so you're performing it, so it's not even you're not thinking about that anymore. Yeah, you're looking at the audience. You're thinking a few steps ahead mm-hmm. because you have that locked in and the performance locked in, so you can sell it. You're like a magician, like yeah. you can sell it to the audience. Like I'm saying this in the moment, you th- you can't believe I'm just saying this right now, but I know exactly what direction I'm going. I know if I can set somebody else up for a joke to, to yeah. go into the audience a little bit. It's it's you you kind of get out of your head and it, it becomes more instinctual after a while. God bless you. Yeah. I, I respect the hell out of it. I just I knew I couldn't do it. So I'm like, I gotta find another way to be funny for people. And when I found the U C B group and their whole philosophy, that's where I was like, Oh, this is for me. That's cool. <laughs> you you were ready for a question. I, I do have a question. Okay. Yeah, yeah, bring it. Like, like, bring like, it. Like, all right, we've been talking back and forth for like ten minutes. I'll let eight. I've been watching I, AJ. I, I, I didn't want to. And then I look over at AJ and I'm like, all right, the but, ball's in your court. And you're like, that's cool. Yeah. Well, no. Okay. 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 So here's a question. Go. I think you already did master that though, right? Like like mastering the art of like saying something and acting like you've done it for the first time. Because like being on radio, don't you like do like live reads? Yeah, and for don't sure. Don't you do like like call letters and stuff? But yeah, with those, I'm not trying to. I'm not purposely looking for a laugh. Oh, I see okay. the compare. The yeah. comparison makes 100 percent sense. Okay. Saying the same thing over and over yeah. again. But when you're when when you're doing radio, but you're not you're not looking for a laugh. Correct. When you do it. I'm I I'm looking. To, I mean, I'm looking to sell something when I'm talking right. about whatever product. But if I'm if I'm talking on the radio, I'm looking to evoke some sort of emotion, whether it's humor, whether it's uh, you know, making them sad, making them feel good. Mm. I'm, I'm, I got the whole range of emotions I'm looking for there. But if I'm standing up there with a the microphone, oh, I get sweaty just thinking about oh, yeah. it. How did you, oh. uh, to kind of switch topics here? How did you meet your wife? College. College. Uh, and you guys uh, went your <clears throat> Akron Zips. Oh, wait, I got. I, I never get to use a cough button. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> there we yeah. go. Okay. I don't have one on that side when I'm pressing the button. <laughs> okay. Continue. Sorry. Uh, so you you met your wife in college. Yeah. Uh, Akron. Yep. Uh, so we got a couple because that's where Pound Cake went. Yeah, uh, he's a WZIP alum as well. Yes. Oh, were you on? Oh yeah. Yeah. So I was. Uh, WZIP had been around for a minute when I got there. I mean, they've been around since like the seventies or eighties or whatever. I was there the first year they started their TV mm-hmm. uh, division, ZTV. Yeah. So I when I was there, uh, I de- I developed the show called Akron After Hours, which they actually still do. That's amazing. That's 18 cool. 18 years That's later. That's really cool. Yeah. They still, and it, it, we started it as like a late night show because I mm-hmm. wanted to be like Conan or Johnny Carson. Those are my top, those believe, those are my top two late night hosts is Carson and, and, and Conan. Conan. So I kind of created that. Mine it's, are Magic Johnson 
It's different. Uh, nope, just Magic Johnson. <laughs> just, that's it. Yeah, just Magic Johnson. That was <laughs> that show was really underrated. <laughs> and uh, uh, Joan Rivers had one for a minute. If you were looking for another, well, obscure she's one. actually great. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> she's, uh, so yeah, we, we we made that show, and then I spent my time there, and I met my wife at a party where she asked me to make out with her. Ooh. And I did. Nice. And Good move. That's almost, a solid yeah. move. She said, will you make out? with?" Actually, she demanded I make out with her. Ooh, I like that even better. And I said, yes. <laughs> and, and 20 years later or whatever. You're we're, like, hold on. <laughs> you like take my mom's tits out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here, Beth. <laughs> You're like, get out. And you just start making out with your and wife. And then I, sl- I slammed a natty. Because yeah. we didn't shotgun in college. Oh, when, okay. And when I was there, we just slammed them like, mm. like adults would. Right. Slam the natty light, and then I had actually seen her the week before, like touring the radio station because she was going to join the radio station. Oh, okay. But she didn't then. Um, but then, yeah, we ended up uh, meeting that night and magic. Does she do anything in the entertainment business? Or Not at all. She, yeah. What does she do? <laughs> That's nice. Uh, she uh, she runs the transportation department for uh, the school district we live in. Oh, oh cool. which That's is the entertainment business of. Being a mom, exactly. No, no, she is, I'll tell you what, she is. Yeah, yeah, to compliment my wife, she is. She's a badass because she does that and she runs. She she ran PTO up until this year. She runs a uh, uh, our cheerleading program for a youth league, and she's never cheered in her life. Oh wow! Uh, and what else does she do? She does. I'm. Oh, she has a Girl Scout troop, and like she is like. I mean, she is super mom. So I can just you know be fun dad or mean dad, and I don't have to worry about organizing anything. <laughs> I just show up. It's great that you guys have kids because if she was doing all that stuff without yeah, having kids, creepy. that'd be creepy. Really creepy. <laughs> We're going to like Kalahari by ourselves. Yeah. Just, oh, getting drunk. just adults like yeah. trying to be swingers at Kalahari. Like, <laughs> we noticed you from across the pole, the lazy river. Yeah. No, none of those things worked for me. Yeah. What's that? No, being a part of all those organizations. <laughs> uh, having a Girl Scout troop is really tough when yeah. you're my age and you look the way I do. Yeah, please it's don't. tough. Yeah, it's mainly the male thing. Yeah. They, think, they don't, you think yeah. so? Yeah, it's Girl Scouts. Well, well, I think, I think that's, just, that's sexist. Yeah. You know you can be, a girl can be a Boy Scout, but a boy, boy can't be a Girl Scout. I know. Is that true? I th- it's well, it's I don't think Boy Scouts is even a thing anymore. Yeah, I don't think so either. Boy Scouts, I think, is done. That kind of went... Because uh, they... The, a yeah. lot of molesting. Yeah. A lot of molesting. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of molesting. I was a Boy Scout. That's, I, was I shouldn't have said that. I was, okay? I was an Eagle Scout. Yeah. Yeah. Did you make it to Eagle Scout? Yeah, well, it was a rule in our house that if you wanted to get your driver's license, you had to get your Eagle Scout. That's so, the weirdest rule I've ever heard in my life. just something that my parents <laughs> that was did. was the first thing I thought. And, and they're like, <laughs> you can't get it. Because they wanted to show that you were responsible. I'm like, yeah, but... You guys understand, like, I'm in Scouts against my will just to get, achieve this thing. And they never picked up on that, that, like, setting these goals for us and saying, like, you have to do these things. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't create true enthusiasm. No. I, I just wanted to get my driver's license. So I you went, that's it. a lot. Do you understand how much commitment and work I that know. is? That's do you a... understand how, how bad I wanted my driver's I license? I guess so. Like, how old were you when you got it? 16. Uh, so, wow. What? I mean, I was, I was 16 when I... I think I got, I passed pretty much all the requirements to yeah. get my Eagle by the time I was 15, wow. except for the project. Did that when I was 16, and then, uh, yeah, then I got my license. Is that I like mean, a weird Mormon thing? No, it was just my parents. Oh. It was just my parents. like that. Oh, you're Mormon. Thing. I was Mormon. Oh, okay. Yeah. They don't like me no more. No? Uh, yeah. Because you don't like the Mormon things? Well, because I don't like, well, because when I was, uh, I was a missionary in the Philippines, I had sex with some ladies. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> and you're not supposed to do that. No. No, that's not how you get your yeah. own love planet yeah. or whatever yeah, exactly. that yeah, works. Like, I'll tell you how to get to your own planet. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. have Bill has like a casting couch for like a planet. <laughs> with just a sign that says this dick on it. That's right. Come that, to planet that, this dick. You don't even have to do that in the Philippines. You can just be like, hey, I'm American. And they're like, maybe I'll get a ha- half American baby. And they're oh, happy. wow. Yeah, they're, 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 hmm. you don't even have to bring them over. They're just like, Having a half white baby would be pretty cool. So in the Philippines, but, huh? Yeah. Wow, well, that's a weird thing to fetishize. Yeah, I mm. didn't know that. Well, ha- yeah. it's having lighter skin is looked uh, upon uh, as a good thing, not just in America. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Not the yeah. World. yeah. Wow. And I was like, oh, I think you guys are hot because I like the darker yeah. skin. So you know, mm. and and those uh, Filipino American babies were usually. 
pretty darn cute. Was was that were we all quiet when he so we can ISO he likes the darker skin just to use? Mm-hmm. Yeah, can yeah. We we send that, can we send that I, to I Alan? Don't, I don't mind <laughs> that at all. <laughs> I just I think out of context yeah, yeah. that one would be great because yeah. it could go with chicken or women. Honestly, right, yeah. yeah, it really well, could. I don't think it's on chicken. I think oh, it's meat. Meat. Yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I was in the Philippines for a couple of years as a missionary. Got How old were you on that one? Uh, so I left when I was 20, got back when I was 22. Oh, okay. I'm piecing and, together yeah. your timeline because yeah. I'm like Eagle Scout and then Philippines <laughs> right. and half so white babies. And then he interned on with Craig Ferguson for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you looked familiar. Yeah. Uh, so I did all that stuff. And uh, so I've been at it, comedy for 18 years. I got okay. back in 2004. And that's and I, I, we probably would have been in school together. Did because you go to Akron too? I no, I I enrolled. Okay. And then when it was like the day before, I was like, I don't want to go to college. It's just a You're like I'm an Eagle Scout. I like, know everything. No, by now. Like, no, because I had already started doing stand up. Yeah. And I was like, all I want to focus on is stand up. That's awesome. So I just dropped out, and because I also was a terrible high school student, mm-hmm. so if I would have went to college, it would have been so much remedial stuff before I even got to the courses that I actually wanted, which yeah. is like the TV and radio type stuff. And so I was just like, eh, fuck it. I'm just going to go do stand-up, and I'll figure it out. I did. The the beginning of my, before I met my wife story, is in high school I took a sports med vocational class. Oh, yeah. So I did two years of that. Yeah, phalanges. (laughs) And uh, I wanted to be an athletic trainer. That was going to be my plan. Go to Akron, sign up, Mm -hmm. getting ready to take my first anatomy class. I get a D. Mm. Like this is not for me. <laughs> so I was already at I was already at the radio and TV station by then. I'm, I'm like I'm much less bad at this. Yeah, it's a lot so less to this. know and a lot less. Uh, you know, when you're trying to help someone's body, there's I don't know less uh, responsibility. Yeah, it feels like. Yeah. So what what year did you graduate from Akron? Oh six. Oh six. Yeah. yeah. So we would have definitely overlapped if yeah. I had, if I had stuck with it. Look at that. If. We were just two wandering ships finally running into each other on Euclid (laughs) Avenue. Well, then we finally met uh, when we were doing a bartending celebrity. Oh, that's right. The celebrity bartending thing at Wharf. Yeah, Merwin's Wharf all those years ago. And, like, we had a good time that night, but we didn't really talk too much. I think we saw each other one other time out doing stuff. And then you got hired at Kiss, and then we were starting to see each other almost every day. Mm -hmm. And that's been pretty fun because you came up with this great bit where – you asked me for a random word, mm-hmm. and then you got to work it into a break on uh, which is on much Kiss. harder for me than it is for you. Yeah, yeah, because we're <laughs> like, if, if, that's why people are like, "Why aren't you doing it for?" I'm like, "Because I can just say whatever." Yeah. What we're, was the what was the was the first one or second one? First one was panty pudding. That was the second one. That was the second one. <laughs> that was the second. Like one. he can just say that. How did you? Yeah. How did you? How did you work it in? Do you? Remember? I did. Oh yeah. Oh, it's great. So he we we do it on uh, Instagram and. The way he worked it in was very clever. Uh, he he was basically saying, "I gotta pick up all this stuff from Target on my way home tonight," and then and it was like I was like, "Oh, I gotta get uh, I gotta get my prescriptions. I gotta get avocado. I gotta get uh, one panty pudding, <laughs> lemon flavored, uh, and then whatever." Yeah, all about that's the that's the improv training, honestly. There we go. Yeah. Like there, we go. there was a word. What's There's that? a word that you do a long form improv. Of yeah, oh, no, and I yeah. could do, I could, do, <laughs> yeah, we could do, awesome. yeah. It's I, that that form of improv. I wish it was more prevalent. Around. I know yeah. there's a guy who has a th- Michael has, Bush. Yes, yeah. uh, I Michael think, Bush does the Imposter Theater. Hi. Sorry, yeah. people hey. are waving in the window. <laughs> I, I have I'm to stop back. and yeah. do that because look at me. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, he has. He, I think he's a UCB guy as well. Yeah, and he's done. I did some improv here in Cleveland. But when I originally, before I was on Afternoons here, I was on mornings on another show. And I had to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and I couldn't stay up late it to makes do it improv very shows. Difficult. What yeah. station were you at before? Q104. Oh, okay. 104.1. Right. So I was there for five years. Mm. And then they're like, hey, you want to come over here? Mm-hmm. And, I mean, we're all about the same age. Unless you're listening. When you're in high school, you're either probably either listening to MMS or KISS FM. Right. Mm-hmm. Growing up. And, like, mm-hmm. for, to have the opportunity to work on KISS FM, for me, that was always the That's goal. You, Jeff. It was like, that. oh, we, you know, when we moved home in 2012 and I'm like, I want to get into radio, I'm like, oh, well, the goal is KISS FM. Right. So it's like, oh, that opportunity is here. Yes, please. Mm-hmm. And then you achieved it. Yeah. Look it's crazy. It's, cra- it's stupid. Like, 
Stupid luck. For me, that happened very early because I wanted to be in sports talk. Okay. Or just in radio. And I got I, I got to intern at ESPN eight fifty. Nice. But then my, my internship was up and I never worked in radio <laughs> ever again. <laughs> <laughs> so it like peaked for me very, very, very early. I mean, I thought I peaked when I got Craig Ferguson and I'm like, oh, this is this is cool. I'm on my yeah. I'm on my way. I'm gonna be the next Conan O'Brien and <laughs> I mean, that didn't happen. But you're, you're doing talk. You're, yeah. you're, you're, you have a talk show. No, my, well, I mean, it's not a talk well, show, but yeah, is it a talk show? Yeah, no, there's, it's, it's, I still play seven, eight songs an oh, hour. Okay. Um, has, have you guys integrated, because you have Crystal Cologne on there, mm-hmm. and is she, I, I know like when you were, when we were still at the old studios, she was doing a lot of stuff for the website and she yeah. did like online stuff. Is she talking on air with you? Yeah, yet? I've got okay. her on now. Okay, great. Uh, and one of the reasons is because I think uh, the old, you, our old PD <laughs> he took he took Crystal's processor for Cody's room. Yeah. So and and obviously they're like, well, we're moving, so we're not going to buy another one. Right. So they're like, we'll just wait till we get downtown. So yeah, we're we're integrating her back into the show and still kind of figuring out what the show the is. The dynamic is and what. And yeah. and I'm used to I am used to a longer form. I I not all talk. I don't know if I ever will be, especially on like a pop station. But I think that, you know, we have to educate, not, we have to teach our listeners like, hey, Jeremiah talks a little bit more. So mm-hmm. peeling back the layers of the mm-hmm. onion and maybe playing less songs here and there. Mm-hmm. But, you, you know. And, and it's weird because you really do have to get them used to that. Because if you do it all at once, they're like, no, mm-hmm. I'll never be back. But if you, it, if you just kind of, basically... What he's trying to tell you is he's grooming his listeners yeah, 100%. Oh. into enjoying yeah. his show. This is this is the, the grooming used to not be a horrible thing. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> there was a and that's why you can't time, go a yeah. hundred yards within a school. I know it's really hurting my business, Jeremiah. <laughs> now I don't want to know what you do for a living. Oh my god! Actually, you still no, don't. No, yeah, yeah, you still don't. But no. let's have him you, tell him anyway. What is your job? My, oh, my job. Oh, yeah. my actual job. Yeah. <laughs> I create dead animals. No, you don't. Yeah, I swear to God, I do. <laughs> now, I, is swear, that, I totally do. Is bro. that like a two for one where you, it's like, do you want them cremated or stuffed? Or is it just one only oh, cremation? No, you stuff you and cremate. Stuff? No, no, you, or, or, oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, no. Stuffed or cremated. No, we're not, he's, we're not. He's, he's just, just stuff them? He's just can cremating. You yeah, you can, I, can I stuff? No, no. I can't stuff. No, an that's animal. taxidermy. Yeah. No, I know, but what are you saying? Taxidermy. He's asking okay. me if if yeah. we can well, if, if we have like a, a, a taxidermy department. Yeah. Do I they do in most places? No, have, I don't know. Okay. No, he's <laughs> he asking there. the question. Tommy. I was kind of honestly, I was picturing like a Pizza Hut Taco Bell situation. Oh, like, like a Yum <laughs> brand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you walk in the door for cremation or, or for taxidermy. taxidermy. Yeah. yeah, go go right for cremation. Yeah. Go well, left for what, what, taxidermy. What I tell people is for three hundred bucks. I can do anything. Stop it. <laughs> you can't can figure it no, out. You can't, I can figure it out. Because if you do humans, then you got cops sniffing around. Yeah, with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you talk about know, it, if you're yeah. telling everybody. Don't about put it on a podcast. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Wait, oh speaking this guy of. guy's going to get me caught. Uh, Cleveland Scene has opened up uh, balloting for the best of Cleveland. Oh, yeah. yeah. Last year we won. Best podcast. We so gotta defend our title. We gotta defend our oh, title. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Yeah. So That's gotta, awesome. So vote for us. Vote yeah. For us. Baby. We need to be nominated first. So we need all the nominations to get on the ballot. Ooh, Which okay. I think if we were the on the it winner. last year, I think we should automatically be on it. But, you know, it wouldn't hurt to go and fill that out. Nominated. Yeah, let's do, do it. it. No, I've done some pretty cool things in my career. But what the coolest thing I have to say is that I've been on a podcast that beat the sound of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the NPR show? Yeah, that's like an sure. NPR show. The sound of ideas. Yeah. Uh, we should do. We should try to attempt to do just like an NPR style oh version. Oh my god! Of well, this first, show. first thing you got to do is you got to get really close. Get there. <laughs> you got to be soft. And Hi. Then, welcome, see, you got to get these out of the way. Welcome to the Bill Squire Show. Let's talk about Beth's tits. <laughs> Today on the Bill Squire Show, we are going to take a journey down the road to the teats of AJ's mother. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring them into our mouth and into our hearts. We have with us Jeremiah, Hello. Uh, Tommy, Hi. and AJ. Hi. Now, AJ, it's your mother that has these delicious tips. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been told. <laughs> um, See, I'm layering the sound oh, in there. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> he's got, so he's got sound effects. It's all about the layers, guys. Yeah, oh, see, my God, kind of look at you. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, my God, I like Jeremiah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, You're with, not bad. Yeah, I like your shirt. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Target. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, you think I'd get a like a merch table. Now I got it at it's Target like it's for vintage. nine dollars. Like Isn't that bullshit, vintage. by the way, this whole vintage world? Yeah, it's dumb. It drives yeah, me nuts. It's, it's so dumb. I did uh I did a video for the new there's a new Goodwill in Garfield Heights that opened up. Yeah. So they did like a whole thing and I went there. And there's shirts. You got there. that sponsorship? God damn yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> You're damn right I did, Bill. <laughs> Suck on that. <laughs> I was Beth in that scenario. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's but, gonna love this episode. <laughs> but like, I found a Rob my, my, Zombie's hurt. My whole uh, idea behind this podcast, after I found out that both your parents listen, yeah. is to do whatever we can to try and get them to stop listening. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so far, we've pushed so, the limit, and they will not stop yeah, listening. They, yeah, they, they will. They, they well, are. it sounds like maybe that AJ's mom is just very proud of her breasts, she is. which is that's. Oh, well, I thought, and I, I thought, I thought she was—you were going to say she's proud of me. Yeah, no, uh, maybe. But, that that, that doesn't come across. Oh, right. Uh, it just comes across <laughs> that she's proud of her sweet oh. teats. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you were attached to them at some point. Well, still are. So yeah. I guess by extension, they're very supple. She's yeah. proud of you for latching on. And they produce. They don't. There's, it's not <laughs> lactate anymore. No. It's a, it's bubble tea. It just comes it's up. bubble tea. <laughs> Ew. No you like bubble tea. Ew. Oh, I just have I'm vegan. Just imagining You're that a vegan out of anyway. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I yeah. No. Wait, can vegans not eat drink tea? <laughs> that I think it has milk in it, doesn't it? Those some, kinds. Some yeah. some does not all. Well, if it's yeah, coming no, directly from a human's tit, I feel like is that yeah. that's probably not vegan, right? Mm. Yeah, because you can't. It, like, hey, mom, I need some that boba. Would be, uh, well, yeah, no, no, mm, no. It. I think we went over this before. It's how the person's treated and i yes. think if we've sucked on her kids so much that they've started Precisely. producing yeah. uh, bubble tea that that's is wrong. not humane that's, right. Wait, that's I, why i was kind of questioning i'm like uh, yeah no it's it's still uh it's like, I'm, I'm thirsty. <laughs> can i left turn this whole podcast for a second yeah of course. So, yeah. so if you have children will you we would you nurse them i do not want kids okay so this yeah. is, but no, but that's not the question what, but, it, what but a if vegan I would, no i would yeah yeah, yeah. is that yeah. not against no, the vegan lifestyle no not vegan or not against it okay it's, it's more about like consent. the ethical yeah I'm, oh it's, okay i'm cows are supposed to feed cows yeah gotcha and they're not supposed to and, feed us kind of thing uh, mom for daughter gotcha kid, yeah. baby whatever it is yeah so. <laughs> whatever that thing <laughs> whatever. is that i don't want to have you're shit out of luck son <laughs> you can't suck tommy's oh, tits <laughs> yeah cows cows can't consent to being slaughtered yeah no they that can't too, yeah. we don't have you ever asked yeah but them. they fall That's for true. it every time they they're idiots they're so stupid they fucking walked Tommy, right down the it, ramp face it if we didn't slaughter cows they wouldn't be alive like they wouldn't exist <laughs> I didn't mean this to turn into what it did. I apologize. No, okay. I just want to know about breastfeeding. Yeah, yeah. That was all yeah. I was curious about. If I will, if I was going to, sure. I would. Yeah, because yeah. it's because yeah. it's, it's the good same for the kid too. Yeah, you're you're not okay. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Tommy yeah. will knock its face off. With those <laughs> just like it's smack. It's like, hey, baby, and the kid's like. <laughs> Tommy had a baby that Babies was do like breastfeeding. The, like they'd be like. They they'd be showing off to the other people like, like oh those are your ba- these are these are tits I suck I, it's yeah. like it's like it's like the babies on top of like one of those big yoga balls <laughs> I don't think you know how big babies are yeah I don't, I don't think, think you know how big those are <laughs> <laughs> but for ten dollars a month you can find out yeah on Tommy OnlyFans L- <laughs> Tommy LC on OnlyFans that's me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you have an OnlyFans channel? No I don't. <laughs> I'm trying to bring it back to you. I have thought like. I've joked with my wife about just putting her feet on there to see what happens. Mm. Do it. I mean, right? Why not? She's got cute feet. She I mean, she's cute where, all around. Listen, she can make it where nobody knows it's her. Right? She can, yeah. yeah. But I feel like the so Mary sells feet pics. Yeah. And she does really well with it, but that's because she does it as Mary. Yeah. yeah. So oh. I think if you were selling her feet pics as Jeremiah's wife. You would probably have an audience for that. Mm-hmm. That's very sweet of you or, to think that people actually care about me. Or, Not just because they know you. They go like, well, I don't know. There's just people that are operate that way. Like I was just in Cincinnati and uh, Rachel Elliott is, she's on MMS, but she records out of Cincinnati. Okay. And I was talking to her about some stuff and she's, she's just like, dudes are so gross. Like she, if she wears anything that's the elite, like the, Top of her breasts show like a little bit of cleavage. They're just like guys like, oh, what is that? like they just like start drooling over oh her. My God. And I'm just like, don't you guys know how to play it cool at yeah, all? Don't like, you know how <laughs> just to go onto a website and yeah. not talk to people and that's, look at the things without talking that's to them? Literally, what right. she said, she's yeah. like, this guy's mind is gonna get blown when he finds out that there's 
pornography on the internet. Like, to, like, <laughs> I, I mean, so you have an OnlyFans, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm sure, you, like, do these guys when they make these comments, do, do you think they really think that you're gonna be like, all right, let's do it, and you come over to their house? Like, is that their mentality? You think? I've honestly had people pay, ask me if I do meetups. I say no, and then they just unsubscribe. So I do think some of them they think truly this is, do. Yeah. Wow. And mm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't miss trying Not to find them, a mate. Not all of them, but most of them. <laughs> yeah. that, the, let's just say the ones that engage, I think they do think. Wow. More that they have them. a chance. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, good for them, them for having a, some self worth. Yeah. But yeah. For sure. Shoot your shot. You're right. Yeah. All but pay your money first. Ex- yeah. Yes. Well, Please pay your money. I think they also are expecting, like they. And I don't mind. They're them waiting asking, to see if there's an there. If you are like an escort or something right, like that, because yeah. there are girls that will do oh, that's that. Oh, that's mm-hmm. a different chapter. Oh, yeah. yeah but- well, there's there, but there are girls that do that because I know the, a guy that calls into our show all the time, Stripper Scott. He specifically will know the the girls that are on tour, going to different strip clubs, doing hmm. uh, like shows at the strip club, and then they will schedule. Uh, escort dates with wow. dudes, like girlfriend experience, whatever you want to call it. He, where he, they, like he goes to the hotel and he bangs them for an hour. He explained this entire thing to me one time. I didn't ask Imagine him. Imagine tour <laughs> yeah. of sex. That's fucking amazing. I know. It what? sounds like a blast. But yeah. is it? Have you like? Because it's not. If you enjoy having sex. If you enjoy having sex, but everyone that you're having sex with is not someone that you want to have yeah. sex with. Yeah, and there's the stresses of True. Okay. afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, how did Leave. this go down? <laughs> right. Wait, so I, I just realized something. So you know, you guys have your, we. there's a program for our phones now, right? There's not mm-hmm. a real phone. So what I've realized is if someone comes through and their number is anonymous, yeah. and Cody puts in their, their name in there, it saves it for all the anonymous calls that come through. <laughs> oh, nice. So I get to see what's going on in their show. What? Like, That's one cool. of them was like, Stripper Scott, just checking in. Yeah. <laughs> because it, it, if an anonymous number pops, so I'll get, I get to follow along with your show during my show I like okay, it. by so your call e- screener. Every time any anonymous number comes up, it if, becomes that? If you, Yeah, it becomes <laughs> whatever you type it in. Too. Oh, so I thought about it again? yeah, I thought about messing with Cody or even oh, you with should, don't TAM. Tell him. Don't no, tell I'll never him tell him. Do it. Yeah, and do something that's be funny. Like, be like, brilliant. oh, uh, John from <laughs> Wycliffe really, it. really hates pound cake. <laughs> He'll pop it up yeah. and be like, what? Huh? <laughs> yeah, don't tell him that. Yeah, let's, but let's that's get also that going. one of those things where one of, out of every like five calls is someone saying, "I hate you, pound cake." <laughs> oh, is it really? Oh, what is the matter with people? People are so mean. Well, I mean, they. they I have feel you guys, like. Have you guys ever read the Alan Cox show Reddit thread? Dude, it's the most brutal <laughs> no, thing. Is it's it the really most toxic? That's no. people, horrible. They thing. hate everyone on the show. Every single one of us. The but they listen, listen every day. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I doesn't don't matter. Blows Keep my the mind. ears on. Yeah. Keep the ears yeah. on the radio. Yeah. I. Uh, that reminds me. I've got to ask about the Alan shirt Twitter account. Oh, where it's just his shirt. Every That's day. amazing. It's who? just I don't know, I don't know who runs it. It's just a guy that will screenshot uh, the live stream and go, "Here's Alan's shirt for the day." It's amazing. Yeah. I love it. That's I don't the, the we fandom. Used to have, commitment. We used yeah. to have a lot more because Twitter's kind of petered yeah, out. Is Twitter on, a thing anymore? I mean, it's kind still of. a thing, but there was definitely a time where there was a, a we were getting new parody accounts popping up almost on a weekly basis. Really? Yeah. Like we have, there's still a few that are active. There's one that is from when Erica was on, mm-hmm. and it's there was a a medium that came in and said that she was gonna have twins at some point. So they're they're called the Vare Boys because her uh, married last name is Vare. So you see, like, and they're they're still active using that account. Wow. All these years later. Yeah, that's some that's fandom, fun. right? That's yeah. that's the status I want to get to with the Jeremiah show is I need parody accounts. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll make one for thank you. Thank you. There you go. I'm pretty good at the social media game. <laughs> yeah. Beth's tits. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Every day I'm gonna suck. Why aren't you sucking on me? <laughs> uh, Lord. So you got kids too. Mm-hmm. That like to, well, I'm just going back in this. Uh, and well, let's actually talk a little bit more about the the married life because yeah. uh, of everyone here. Like I have a girlfriend. Tommy has a husband and a boyfriend. She's in a uh, unique relationship that is very ethical. Do we and do we classify that as open? Polyamorous. Polyamorous. Yep, okay. Yeah, yeah. There was a song that said something about that. What was it? That's there I'm, was a recent one actually. Was there? Yeah. 
might be on the news. I think they had Beyonce to change the words maybe? of it because Beyonce said spaz. They did yeah. say that, yeah. yeah. And AJ just sucks on his mom's teats. <laughs> Is that his relationship status? <laughs> no, I think AJ's kind of seeing someone yeah, I'm right now. Seeing yeah. someone okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how's but, that going? Uh, it's fine. Yeah. It's delightful. Fine. I enjoy, I enjoy what, it. What level? Are we just, are we talking? Are we, are we, is there any commitment going on? I don't know. Oh, wow. I, I'm just kind of just going with it. How, how did we meet? I just meet? know that you were spending the night, you know what? I told, this is of someone that I know that she said she thinks AJ's really funny. I'm like, so message him. Yeah. And so she did. And yeah. they started hanging out. So I, oh, yeah, wow. I kind of acted as matchmaker here. Yeah, you well, I, him, I had a little bit to well, do with, with it, too. Well, with all the tits. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had a little bit to do with, <laughs> with it. With him letting me suck his you mom's existed. tits so much, yeah. I, owe, I owe him one. You do. Well, she saw me doing stand-up. Yeah. She saw me doing stand-up. Yeah. was blown away by my comedic well, no, sensibility. No, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, she knew who you were, and yeah. she knew that you were funny. And then she was talking to me, and I was like, just message him. She's like, isn't that weird? I'm like, No. It's great. What? And then it's she, the and, then, and then she I messaged see. me, and then she sounded like so weird. I was just. <laughs> she sounded was, weird. You yeah, said. Yeah. Well, I mean, she owns up to it. She was like, but I could tell that she was like shy to talk yeah. to yeah. me. So I was just like, oh, okay. Like she's shy. Like I'm just. So I'm gonna message her back. I yeah. see. I sympathize with that because. I before coming here, I l- would listen to your guys' show, especially on my six months off, because mm-hmm. I'm obviously I'm your demo, so I know. How come you didn't make a parody account? Exactly, <laughs> but there's, there are like things that I I've I've heard you guys say on the air that we haven't talked about in person, so it's like, how do I approach that situation? Oh, well, let's talk about it. You got one in I don't, particular? I, I'm off the top of my head, no. Okay. Well, you you listen to this show? What's that? Or the Alan He's Cox show? The Alan Cox, Alan Cox oh, show. Okay. Okay. Uh so I, I mean, I sympathize with that weirdness yeah. of talking to, uh, yeah, no, I all mean, three of them I about mean, stuff, and I like I say, actually already knew that fact about you, but I'm not gonna say that. Look like a weirdo. Right. I um no no I would say we're we're talking we're talking okay to, to go back and answer that um, but no like yeah I mean she now she was like oh my god like I'm just coming off like really weird right now I'm just like yeah but it's endearing yeah that's so, cute though yeah, yeah it was yeah. cute that's it's isn't it nice to be pursued. It, uh, yeah, it's 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 great. Although I I have been on the record saying like I reject <laughs> everything that comes to me in terms of the uh, like in in this um, space like but relationships. But this has been a while. Yeah, yeah it's a couple, been few weeks. months. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, two months. Yeah, yeah. Two, three months. Yeah, yeah the weeks. wheels are turning. Yeah, the wheels are. turning. I like it. Yeah, me too. So we're all in different stages of yeah. relationship. Yeah. 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 How long yeah. have you been married? You guys been together for twenty years. Married. Uh, I, it's, 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 eighteen. Eighteen. Technically, okay. we met in 04, right? Yeah. Uh, and then we got married in 08. So that's fourteen years we've been married. Okay. And then our oldest is ten. Middle seven. Youngest is four. Okay. So we're just getting into the thick of this whole. That's yeah. That's you got you got you know you're you're past the diapers and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah. So that's great. But yeah, you're you're coming up on some real fun. You. Oh ten, yeah. Ten year old boy or girl? Uh, boy. We go. We went boy, girl, boy. Okay. So the girl. You know, it doesn't matter when they're teenagers. It's just so hard. There's no rules. They're, they're, they're <laughs> they just, just do whatever they want. They're just the biggest fucking assholes. Yeah. And so just get through that. Uh, you're coming up on like ten is like they're still really fun. Yeah, twelve they're getting a little and oh, oh. it's but but like fourteen up you're it's just yeah. I mean it's still fun, but there's just the highs are highs and the lows are lows because mm-hmm. they can't understand anything because they're just so they they emotions become facts to them right and it's it's this reality that they just have no idea how to deal with. It's it's interesting in our situation because my son is my oldest. He's the biggest empath. Yeah. And then my daughter is a straight up type A. Okay. And then my youngest son is a fucking anarchist. <laughs> like he does not give a Hell shit. Yeah. yeah. And it, I th- I think it's it's gonna be you know, I I sympathize a lot with my oldest because I'm I'm very empathetic and worried. Like he hates to he gets upset if he thinks he's getting yelled at and starts crying because he doesn't want to be yelled at. Right. That type of, then that's kind of how I was. And just see, like even I imagine seeing other people get yelled at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, makes he puts himself in their shoes and like yep. so he wants to comfort people. That's kind of how I was yeah. as a kid too. I, I definitely 
And, oh, then, and I it's, loved watching people get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it makes it. me so oh. uncomfortable. Oh my god, it got me in such a groove. I'm like, oh, that's why be you're a jerking off. Yeah. yeah, that's why you're in the back of the car. Yeah, Your dad like, was actually yelling yeah. at somebody. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying oh. to pay the cable bill yeah. over Barter. the phone. And like, what do you sorry. mean you're still breastfeeding AJ Beth? Have- <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh. I know, and then I have an orgasm that resembles like a stone skipping. Ew. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Why? Very descriptive. <laughs> it was. Very descriptive. I'm a literary man. Tyler. I guess. Yeah, he yeah was but writing I feel like that was from yeah. experience. Yeah. That's what it's about. So is the book about jerking off in your dad's car and sucking on your mom's nipples? or? No. Well, I mean, there might be a little bit of that in there. Maybe in the second book. Yeah. 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 There's a lot that in the led prologue. up to that. Yeah, yeah we, we announced it on a guest. I was a guest on uh, the Talk Word podcast, yeah. which is... Is, uh, the editor of uh, Humorist Books hosts, and we just talked a little bit about me and my humor writing career. That's awesome, man. And he's just like, are we just going to say it? Like, I'm just like, sure. He's like, two years, we're going to have a book. Nice. So I'm just like, yeah. And Hell it's yeah. about, it's kind of part memoir, but it's a fictional memoir. Okay. Oh, I sense. like it. It's yeah. going to be, it's going to be about, because remember. I like it, but also knowing the stuff that we goof around with on this show, I'm a little scared. Oh, because <laughs> you can go to some uh, dark, oh, very hilarious, so. yeah. but dark places. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm not afraid to go. No, you're not. <laughs> it's no, you, very, very you, bizarre places. You push limits, bud. You yeah. push some limits. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna be. It's gonna be a fictional memoir. I like it. It's a memoir that didn't happen <laughs> of my life. Say fictional memoir a different way again. Mm-hmm. Uh, fic- fictitious. Memoir. <laughs> Not just with an accent. Come on, get the thesaurus out, bud. I, I, said, fi- I said fictitious memoir. Yeah, just, again, same word. Same word. Okay. You just different accent. All right. Um, the, the. I can't help you. Uh, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm pimping you out for it. Non non fictitious. <laughs> A biographical reimagining. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Okay. A made-up a fi- story. A fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, fiction, I believe. Just oh, fiction. Oh, uh, fiction. Yeah. Uh, a novel. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'm writing a novel. Yeah, yeah. So we talked about that on the on the Talk Word podcast that you could you could hear me on that as well. Very cool. Yeah. Tommy, are you gonna do a uh, anything else? You gotta, you I gotta, don't have anything. You don't have anything. I don't have anything right oh. now. So. Would you write a blurb? Of course. For it? Absolutely. Cool. Awesome. I'll blurb you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll blurb you. Well, Jeremiah, when can people listen to your show and where can they find you on uh, different social media? We get the uh, Jeremiah Show on 96.5 Kiss FM uh, on the radio, of course. And then you can use the iHeartRadio app uh, to listen anywhere. We podcast all the episodes, so competition. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and then uh, all the socials, Jaywood Radio and uh, J Show Radio, is how you can follow me there for the nonsense. And uh, it's on TikTok. And like we, I said, we do these collaborations together that are a lot yeah. of fun. Uh, so check those out. Uh, I'm recording a comedy special at the Funny Stop, uh, September second and third. You can get tickets for that by going to BillSquire.com. Please uh, get those. Let's sell this thing out because I'm very excited about uh, all the. Uh, material that i'm performing but i actually did come up with uh what i think might be the a, a different name because i was going to call it alpha oh Fail. i i heard yes, yeah uh but i can't remember what it is um bs uh bs wait what was it bs uh what the fuck yeah bologna sandwiches luckily we record all the show so i'll be able to find it again but it's like bs thoughts or something like that was was I on this episode? No, no, no. This is on the radio show today. Oh, which I'm also a part of the Alan Cox show. You can check that out weekdays two to six thirty. I'm like trying to create it in my (laughs) WMMS. What would it be? What was it? BS. Like playing on bullshit. Yeah, yeah. But also, yeah, Bill Bill Squire. Squire. It is BS thoughts. Was it BS thoughts? I think BS. BS. T H O T S though. BS Mm. thoughts. Mm. No, it wasn't. No. It wasn't thoughts. It was close mm. to that, though. Yeah, yes. I'll have to ask Mary. I wonder mm-hmm. if she should reply right now. Let me call her. Mm. This is very important. BS. And don't edit this part out. No, yeah. not at all. Leave it all in. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be up to Jeremiah to make sure there's no dead air because we're not the professionals here. <laughs> Here's Doja Cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the next challenge Can I want to do. Kiss me more. Yeah. We're so young, boy. We're I, I want to do. I want to do one where I do a. Uh, 
like a Jeremiah break. Okay. You think like, you can hit the post? Like yeah, a pro? Like that kind of thing. I'm uh, not even that good at it. Well, I, we can always edit it. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I mean, just, like, talk like you, the way you, because you, you, you have to sell things a certain way yeah. on Kiss. And oh, I just yeah, want to become Kiss Bill. Kiss Bill? Yeah, and just do a little bit of... Uh, With consent, of course. Yes, of course. Yeah, come on. Yes. Mm. Uh, all right, let me call Mary real quick. We're just doing this the old-fashioned way. What is it? Yes. Because it was so good. I'm like, yeah. damn, that's good. She's going to screen you. Come on, Mary. It'd be so funny because if she doesn't answer him. Hello? Hey, I'm okay. just recording my podcast Hi. right now. Yeah, we got Hello. Jeremiah and Tommy and AJ, and Hi. we're tr- we're trying to remember what uh, <laughs> the title is that you came up with today for that I can use for my uh, special. Oh, something BS. <laughs> <laughs> Not helpful, Mary. <laughs> what was it? Um, it was like, uh, God, what was it? <laughs> Because then we said it again. It sounds it sounds MS. memorable. Like, yeah, we're gonna have to go to we're gonna have to go to the stream, guys. BS yeah. thoughts. We'll yeah, was it like? No, it was something BS. Oh, okay, something so BS. Plenty of BS. Mostly BS. No, it wasn't mostly because it's mostly him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> was it all BS? <laughs> Only BS? No. no Piles like, of BS. Uh, a lot of BS or likely BS. It was something like. Likely that. BS. Something I positively like. Positively BS. Something like that. I yeah. I'll I'll have to go back and oozing BS. Leave it to BS. What was it? Uh, not leave it to. No, BS. was that leave it to <laughs> leave BS? It to BS. <laughs> you, oh no. boy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was leave it to BS. All right. Well. All right. I'll think maybe about it wasn't it. as catchy. Well, I'll I'll find it after the mm. we're done recording, but. If, okay. If you if you think of it though, text me immediately. <laughs> We're gonna stay recording right. this podcast until, until she texts me. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, Mary. Bye. My kids can <laughs> bathe themselves. <laughs> Actually, most. Wait. Of them what's, can. Oh, hold on. What's what's the name that you were thinking right now, or did you know? Alpha Fail was the one that I was gonna go with. Okay. But then Mary said this, and I was like, ooh, that actually sounds like it'd be really good, and yeah. it was really good. Yeah. I and know. I mean, I know it was. Oh, I like Alpha Fail. I just connected it. Yeah. 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 That's what solid. was? What were we? What? No. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be t- honest with you. Alpha Fail sounds better than trying no, to think of whatever this so name is. so good what it was. Well, at least he's got four four hours of recorded radio. That's he right. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I can go through the segments even. Well, I can tell you it was near the end of the show because yeah. I was working. Mm-hmm. Probably the last half hour. Were, were you doing your OnlyFans listening to a show? <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> you just got AirPods in and you're you're listening while you're She's like, creating whoop, your content. Yes, whoop, precisely. Whoop, whoop. It's actually, yeah. Can I? That was it? a guitar, sir, yeah. by the way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I mean, you don't know. I don't. You don't <laughs> know what talents MMS. I have. <laughs> but for $10. For $10. <laughs> for $10 a month. Yeah. I'm trying right. to convince Bill to have an episode where, because my buddy is thinking about having an OnlyFans, and I thought it would be funny to bring him on and have you teach him the ropes <laughs> of how you OnlyFans. Is there, uh, what is it, what, what would you say the percentage of males, on successful males on the OnlyFans? I don't think 2%. many. I think in the beginning, like no, I started, I started right before COVID, like that year, like January, I think. <laughs> um and there was a lot in the beginning, but yeah. now I rarely see any. And I think it's because they realize nobody fucking yeah. wants to. Like we pictures know. of guys. I get dogs a lot of questions. Scary. Yeah. Well, no, I don't mind that. I don't mind. I don't mind dick pics or anything. I well, mean, like, I don't. Don't send them. That's not what I <laughs> no, meant. Yeah. But you have to yeah. pay. You gotta watch for her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The comparison, right. like the, a picture of a vagina mm-hmm. or boobs, compared to a picture of a dick. I don't know, man. They're just so dick. much more aggressive, There's though. Some about mm-hmm. a good dick. I mean, yeah, I guess it depends. Mm-hmm. I guess it, it it does. Again, I'm not into you know right. receiving yeah. dick. Don't send me dick pics yeah, either, guys. Okay. <laughs> do you do you remember when I tweeted out? Send me every dick pic you could possibly find. <laughs> <laughs> I tweeted out. My DMs were going were off they? for like four and a half. That sounds hours. like my group text with my buddies from it high school. If they just sent, it's not it's not our own. It's just they Google searched them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and I, I that's I tw- what they tell I tw- you. You did yeah. not believe me, by the way. I hope he got that shot. <laughs> he did not believe. She side eyed me hard. Like, okay, guy. Okay. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> it's your own dicks. <laughs> I I tweeted my phone number one time, Aww. which was great. I got some dick pics there, and I didn't ask. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. That's, yeah. That's life, unfortunately. <laughs> pure BS. Mm. Pure, pure. That's good. BS. That's, oh hi. Oh, we got a little shimmy. Okay. I knew yeah. it was. I something. thought that was gonna be the first dick against the window. Uh, he, was, he was kind of going down. For it. <laughs> how, how has it been for you guys? Out? Have you gotten any scary homeless people yet? Not really. There was. Uh, like, there's been 
some of our listeners that have come by, mm-hmm. but like there's most people just kind of keep walking, and like they'll they'll wave, and then like if you just ignore them, they go away. Yeah, they just they feed off attention. Yeah, like you know we all do because mm-hmm. yeah. that's our job. Pure is, BS. That's pure BS. Yeah, I like that. That's I like solid. That. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I knew it was like only or like. This I like is Alpha Fail better. And I like pure BS. You like pure BS? I do. Both, mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the reason BS I like Squire. pure BS better is because I'm a sucker for a pun, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I think that the pure BS ha- having a. Oh, I guess meeting, we're done, guys. It's now iHeartRadio. Yeah. Damn. Uh, so that happens whenever. <laughs> Four the, seconds. The uh, hour. But don't you worry. We'll go right back. Here to we. It. Is mine in there yet? Let me check. I'll check. <laughs> uh, Are you gonna be in the? You're not gonna be in this. Studio. No, but the, he can. Same he works. can select no, all like the I said, we, we can graphics. Be, we can be Bloom Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Bloom Daddy. We talk about. I have no idea what that show's about. Either. Flowers. Uh, we can it's be, about flowers. What, what time are and, they on? So we got we got the Our Alan Cox time show, and then we got the Alan Cox show with the buzzer. Mm-hmm. So there's two versions of that. Great, greatest Which logo in radio. Uh, if yeah, I'm being honest. What, what station's Bloom Daddy on? He's he took over for Triv. Oh, uh, yeah. so on WTAM. Yeah, yeah he's okay. on there. Yeah, mm. so. Bloom Daddy. You can pr- you can probably guess what it yeah. is. But I don't know yeah. honestly. Uh, I've never listened to a second of it. Mm. Yeah, I think it's pretty. I met him. He's a nice guy. Type. Yeah. Right leaning. Yeah, I imagine, but whatever. That's what they, you know, that's what they got to put out there. Uh, all right, so pure BS. Mm-hmm. Do we like it? I love I it. Love I that. think it's great. I think pure BS. Have is we where thought I about go. what the cover is going to look like? Have we talked about that? Have we brainstormed it? It's gonna be Bill sucking on my mom's. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, no, I'll probably done. get so yeah. the the cover too, like because it just. Really has to go on YouTube. Oh yeah, we're not putting stuff in DVDs yeah. anymore. Mm-hmm. Thank you, <laughs> guy born in 1984. It kind of changes the way you do things because you go, okay, well we're gonna put it on here, and you you basically have to see that on YouTube and say, oh, this is a stand-up special. Yeah. And if you get because I had the cover art for uh, Bam Bam, which was me with my dog on my shoulder and this big bat for my last special. And nobody knew what it was on when I put mm. that. So on you need YouTube. like a screen grab so of you on stage. So you basically a screen grab of me on stage. Yeah. yeah, and then like the graphics behind it. So, eh, that's yeah. fine though. Yeah, I don't mind that. I was I was yeah. really looking forward to some sort of photo shoot where we get to put him in, I don't know, a just pure, a bag of her- yeah. pure heroin or something yeah. like that. A pure, well, a full on bullshit. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. yeah. We could shove your head up a bull's ass if we mm-hmm. wanted to. I think pure BS is perfect though. I know you like Alpha Phil. Next one. Yeah, you were you were outvoted on that age. Yeah, no, that's Go okay. Go suck in your mom's yeah, boobs. That's <laughs> I'm a Fine. <laughs> Fine, Jeremiah, I Go will. Get you, Go get your dinner, AJ. All right, I'm hungry anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for checking out this week's episode of The Bill Squire Show, and uh, we will be back next week, uh, and I think Sam Roberts is going to be next week. Next week, oh, I love Sam. Yeah. She's oh, great. she's a delight. But uh, that might be a week down the road. I got to I got to get in touch with her again, and and uh, see about that. But next it's, week I'm not yeah, here, I, so I know. if you need me there for that. Okay, well we'll we'll figure this. it out. We'll yeah, but next week uh, we have Annie filling in for Tommy next week. Okay, Annie, yeah. she blonde. That works. Yeah, blonde, big boobs. That's just, what we care. Oh, about. is that you just, you just match? So what, when you got to replace AJ, what's your go-to? Okay, pants. Okay, pants. Yeah. Okay. Oh, just a guy. Yeah, 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 just not a guy. not a specific type. You don't no, got to go with him. Just a guy that can, uh, you know, suck on his mom's boobs. <laughs> as long as he's sucking on some boobs, that's yeah, okay. all that matters. As long as tits are getting sucked, then that's my co-host. I have an insatiable appetite for tits. I'm so fucking hungry. I'm sorry, I was yelling right in the mic. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. So this for is out the, I'm trying to end the podcast. Uh, we'll see you guys. Wait, next. guys, I want to talk about world peace though before we get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. See you guys next week. Bye. This is the Bill Squire Show.